So we're approaching buoy three, which is uh, the next buoy coming in here on the left. If their seas are really big, the, the, the channel really narrows up. There's just a small little area for us fishermen to get through. And, it's, and it is in probably 50 yards wide. You can pass this bar all summer long on the tide going out, but in the wintertime, you better make sure you hit the tide coming in. You can see 20-foot breakers coming in here. Here in Charleston, we're very concerned about LNG and the transiting of the Coos Bay Bar. Basically, the bar is going to be shut down because they require a safety zone of about a third of a mile. So that means that you cannot cross the bar together. Well, we're waiting offshore to cross. We might miss that window of opportunity to cross the bar safely. The economic importance of the commercial fishing industry in Charleston is huge. The Dungeness crab fishery is the single largest grossing species in all of the West Coast. Oregon, we landed 23.2 million pounds. That's $150 million pumping through the coastal communities. We are the ones that have been here on a daily basis for the last 50 years. Crossing this bar in a timely manner on a high tide is so vitally important to this community. The Dungeness crab fishery is the most dangerous job there is. LNG's business plan is to bring in 136 ships per year. When you add the outbound vessels, that's 272 uh, transits in a year, all on the high tide. I need assistance now. I'm on the Coos Bay Bar. I have lost power. I have breakers all around me. Coast Guard officials say this is one of the most dangerous bars on the Oregon coast. And as we've seen this winter, it's also been one of the deadliest. Two years ago, we lost two vessels on our bar and five people drowned. So timing and crossing the bar is very, very important to the commercial fishing industry here in Charleston. Restricting that access to us is going to have a huge impact to the Dungeness crab fishery and a deal breaker to the commercial fishing industry.